Hey, what's up everybody? Chris Coyer here. I'm doing a video about a pretty specific thing here. It's about Jetpack, uh, the WordPress plugin. So here's jetpack.com, which is of course the homepage for it that explains what it's all about. This is for your like self hosted WordPress sites like CSS Tricks is where you might be watching this video and like so many other sites are that I've spun up over the years. Uh, uh, uh. And in fact, I just, I had this idea to start blogging about something new that's like a little unrelated to web design, just about like email in general. I was like, God, I, I do so much emailing. I think about it all the time. It'd be interesting to just like have a place to write down some thoughts and gather some data and talk to people and who knows what it'll turn into. But I spun up this site uh, uh, and I guess one of the twists of it is that I think email's like kind of a good thing and I like it and I like that it exists and I think it's a pretty strong communication medium, etc. So based on my postulate that I like email, the site is called Email is Good. And it's, uh, you know, it's not about the, the technology of email so much as the, um, you know, about productivity and about how the world uses email. So I buy the domain name and I spin it up. You know, this video isn't about that. That's a thing you can look up how to do whatever. But I have a, you know, local dev environment or whatever. And this is the production environment. I bought, I bought the URL email dash is dash good dot com and got this thing going. I picked a default theme because I just didn't. It's just some quick writing. You know, I'm not trying to. I wanted this thing to be quick, quick, quick. So pretty raw install with one of the default, you know, 2015 or 17 theme. I can't remember. I picked this one because it was just very typographic and very simple and blog like and just got started writing. But there's some functionality that I needed for the site. One of is like I need like a contact form. I think that's kind of nice to have. So I, I don't even know if I got it linked up in here, but that's the kind of thing that I wanted to have available. And uh, a few other things, but always when I spin up a WordPress site or on my long running existing WordPress sites, they all have Jetpack installed. So this kind of started like ages ago. Well, I don't know, maybe a year or so ago. And somebody had tweeted me something about something about Jetpack. I, I can't even remember the exact details, but they're like, you use Jetpack? And I was like, heck yeah, I use Jetpack. Who wouldn't use Jetpack? <laughs> that was kind of my thinking at the time. It's so full of useful features that it just almost seems like a no-brainer plugin to use. But I think they were thinking that because Jetpack has a, you know, in interesting history of like, you know, early versions of it, like had stuff in there that people didn't want or that it, not that they didn't want it necessarily, but even if they weren't using that feature, it would load some CSS and JavaScript to power that feature that they didn't care for. Anyway, it's changed a lot over the years. And I feel like where Jetpack is now really puts it in that no brainer category of usefulness. Now, blah, blah, blah. What does it actually do, man? Well, here's my site. Email is good. And let's see. Let's get into my admin area. You know, it's installable like any other plugin. Here it is in the plugins directory in uh, on WordPress.org. You can install it that way. And it just it's a pretty easy plugin to install. But just like any other plugin here, here's my list of plugins. Yeah, I have a contact form. I wanted to play with Gutenberg. So I got that going or not only play with, I wanted to just like be ready for it when that came out. Uh, uh, you know, hey, how about I connect my MailChimp things? <laughs> it's a site about email. I probably should have an email list. Uh, and uh, uh, and then Jetpack is in there too. And Jetpack's buddies, Akismet and, and Vault Press, which we'll get into a little bit. So Jetpack is here and installed. And it gives me kind of a top level admin thing to start looking at what it does and activating different parts of it features. Because we I haven't even said one feature of it yet, but that's because it isn't just one feature. It's so many different features all combined together. It's kind of like installing a dozen or maybe more two dozen plugins on your site because of how much stuff it does. So looking at the dashboard of Jetpack, again, in the admin area of my WordPress site, it's tracking my paltry traffic for me so we can get a, keep an eye on that. And it's telling me about, whoa, some security stuff. So, you know, this view tracking is sure that's neat, but uh, 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 now we're starting to get into some meaty features where I was telling me about security there. So, um, it looks at the files 
literally of my WordPress installation and looks at them for security problems. No problems here. Woo, that's nice. That's this little box is super valuable right there that basically WordPress themselves, because Jetpack isn't from a third company. It's from Automatic, the makers of WordPress. WordPress is telling me your WordPress installation is fine. That feels great. Uh, the site is backed up. So if anything were to go horribly wrong with this, over on WordPress's servers, there's a backup of this site. That feels pretty great. I can't lose anything here. My site is backed up. Uh, uh, I offer comments functionality on here, and it's, and it's protecting me from spam there. Should I get more popular, like CSS Tricks is, CSS Tricks is hammered with spam. And Akismet, which is you know a paid product kind of that's uh, uh, that I get as part of this Jetpack subscription, it's blocking me from that. It's handling plugin updates. We'll look at more of that later. It's blocking malicious people trying to log into my site, and it's telling me when my site goes down. So if I'm, you know, this is this is not hosted on a WordPress owned thing. This is my own hosting that I've been using for years. Uh, uh, so if something goes wrong with my host, you know, Jetpack is watching my site. So if it goes down, I'll get an alert that that happened, and I can go. I, it's either I know I did something wrong so I can go fix it or go bother my host or whatever. Look at that. All that is a part of Jetpack. Wow. That's a lot as it is. And that's just one kind of section. That's just the dashboard of what's going on with um, uh, Jetpack. So it goes on and on and on here. Let's look at the, the settings because I think that's interesting. This is where you can kind of flip on and on on and off different things that you want Jetpack to do. So one of the things is writing posts in Markdown. Now, I, you know, I flipped on Gutenberg for this particular site, so I don't know that Markdown is doing that much for me. But here's the, you know, here's kind of the, the code pen blog, which, of course, I have Jetpack uh, flipped on over here, too. And we use Jet Markdown there, so all of our documentation, all of our blog posts is all in Markdown. It allows your users to comment in Markdown as well, which is super useful. So uh, love that. If you want Mark, just Markdown alone is a useful feature. You just flip it on, and then it's not just like, what did some third party decide what flavor of Markdown it's going to support and all that. Like, this is no, this is like the WordPress supported Markdown, which I feel like is important. You want to have video on your site? Well, what kind of hosting is your site on? Can it handle that kind of bandwidth? Like, I don't know. It's just kind of nice to know that should I get into a video kind of thing, Jetpack's got my back there. It's because the WordPress kind of .com infrastructure on my WordPress.org install of WordPress. That's kind of a crux thing about Jetpack is that it brings a lot of the power of WordPress.com and the fact that it's hosted and is on these massive server network and kind of has its own special set of features because of that. It brings that power to your self-hosted website no matter where it's hosted. So it's kind of that connection. And as a matter of fact, to use Jetpack as you're installing it, you connect it to your WordPress.com account to do all that stuff. So here's one for the developers that happen to be listening or most of you. Are, you don't even have to be a developer to care about the performance of your site. So here's a little flip on feature. It says serve images from our servers. You flip that on and it says Jetpack will optimize your images. So th there's really actually four things I want us to focus on here. One of them, you flip this on and now your images are being served from their servers, not yours. Now, why would you want that? Well, hey, it'll save you a little bandwidth. That's cool. Uh, uh, two, it optimizes them for you. So if you upload some like totally unoptimized kind of giant crappy JPEG or something, it'll optimize it for you. So you get a CDN, you get the optimization. You're using WordPress anyway, and WordPress has this concept called responsive images baked into it, meaning that it generates multiple copies of that images in different sizes and outputs a syntax uh, which includes like the source set element in or source set attribute of the image element in HTML, which helps browsers decide which version should I download. I only want to download one because I'm trying to be really efficient. Let's say I'm viewing this site on my phone. I want to be really efficient with that. And, and so WordPress helps with that too. And it has this lazy loading idea, meaning that if an image is way down below, it's not even visible yet, it doesn't load that image until it becomes visible. That's four huge image-related performance things that you get uh, uh, from Jetpack. So here's like a post on this site. Um, you know, 
I'm looking at a particular post I've written called emailing yourself. So if I reload this, whatever, it's just this. I don't know why I'm reloading it exactly. But um, if I scroll down here, you know, oh, there are the images there. It didn't quite pop in. It might have been in cache, so it didn't need to. But I know lazy loading is, is working on this site. If I'm up here, that image didn't wouldn't load and if I scroll down ooh, it'll pop in the idea is I'm saving a bunch of bandwidth that way for people that never do scroll down and never do need to roll that image if I kind of look at the syntax of this will look like a big mess of code here but I can see that the uh, the image is being here's the source set attribute that I was talking about and a whole bunch of different versions of it that have been created and the URL there isn't email is good.com it's a wordpress.com uh, uh, URL, so I know that the CDN is working. So it's uh, it's it's generating multiple copies. It's giving me responsive images. It's putting it on a CDN, and it's lazy loading. That's a ton of stuff. And what I did to do that is I flipped on these two little things. That's all I did. It's incredible. It's so useful. So yeah, I, little features like uh, I'll go to the home page of this. I didn't have to dev this myself. I just have this default theme activated. And as you scroll down, if you're interested in browsing the site and looking at uh, articles that might be interesting to you, uh, they just keep loading Ajax style. That's just a little feature of Jetpack that they, you know, put in there uh, for people like me that are interested in that functionality and don't necessarily want to write it ourselves. Look at all these checkboxes we can flip on and off if they're if they're useful to you. And that's just the first tab, you know? So I, I encourage you to, to explore this yourself a little bit. I won't go into a million levels of detail here. I just think the overall point I'm trying to make is that look at all the stuff you get from Jetpack and also that <clears throat> it's not like what Jetpack used to be. It's like you just flip on what you need and it's all good, you know? There's not there's it's not hurting the performance of my site in any way and in fact it's only helping. I like this one. This is quite a good feature that I also think like just alone would make an incredible plugin is that it ties like me publishing a new post to automatically sharing it on social networks. So for example, I have a a Twitter account here. I'm using Tweetbot on my Mac here. You know, I have a couple of my Twitter accounts in here, one for my podcast shop talk show. Here's my email is good Twitter account. I feel like any good blog should have a Twitter account, of course. I'll look at my own tweets here. Email is good is like, pub these are the titles of the blog posts and they're kind of automatically being published to Twitter for me as I publish them. And that happened because I've, you know, through wordpress.com here, I've kind of connected my social accounts uh, to, oh, look, at I don't have a Facebook account. It's like, it's just doing Twitter, but look at it, it can do LinkedIn and Tumblr and Path and all these things. If I wanted all of them, maybe eventually someday I should have accounts on all those services. It just depends on what you can manage. But I think that's tremendously useful. If I had a featured image attached to those individual posts, it would it would put that image in these tweets as well. I think that's useful. We use this thing on CSS Tricks, so so I know. I think that's a great feature that I use, used to have, use some paid third party to do for me. Uh, conversely, with social media, it'll put those sharing buttons on the post for you too, which is kind of nice, including, you know, send an email, whatever services you want to use there. There's a whole bunch of them. You just say, I care about this service, this service, this service, and you can uh, drop them in there, you know? How many do you want? Click, 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 click. I just pick the ones that are uh, kind of most right for me. So notice that sometimes you got to come over to WordPress.com to kind of manage those features. One of those um, is the, the the plugins thing. Is that here in security or is that back on the dashboard? Jetpack can keep your plugins up to date for you. Let's see, manage my plugins. I think that's going to hop me over to WordPress.com as well. It knows what... Um, <clears throat> plugins I have available and I can just tell it to, to auto update. Yeah, you should auto update Jetpack. You should auto update contact form. Now this is a feature of Jetpack. Updating your plugins isn't a particularly hard thing to do on WordPress. Maybe you've even noticed WordPress itself will update itself. But plugins, you still got to go in there and like click a button to do it. And it's pretty easy and quick. Uh, uh, but just having it auto update, that's nice. You know, I'm going to have all these things auto update. Why not? That's a fantastic thing. So I never even have to think about it. I don't lo log into my site and say, oh, you have 10 plugins that need updating. No, just do it for me. Uh, it's cool. I, you know, <laughs> I think you can tell I'm maybe 
fairly enthusiastic about how useful this thing is to me. And we're not even all through it yet. Uh, I'll let you explore some of more of those social settings later, but there's, there's, there's certainly more of them. Uh, I, I, I like this comment feature. If I'm looking at an individual post on here, let me go to this post. Uh, and I go to leave a comment. I'm already logged in because that's just me. So it'll tell me I'm logged in. But notice I don't have to type in my name and email address and all this. If I look into a incognito window here, so I won't be logged in anymore. If I open this comment form, I can type in my name and email and stuff. And some people like that, but I think some people are turned off by that. And they're used to just being logged into whatever service because they're on Facebook or they're on Twitter or they have a discuss account or whatever. Here I can I can uh, uh, just quickly authorize through Twitter. I'd probably be in a non-incognito window. I'd probably already be logged into Twitter or Facebook or something. Boom, one click. I'm logged in. Now I'm using that identity to comment and it saves me a bunch of time. That means that this so this comment form is totally powered by Jetpack. Wow, that's a big, nice feature, you know? I like the fact that people can uh, subscribe to a comment thread through Jetpack. That's a nice thing. <laughs> we could probably do a whole episode just on this new one. I'm changing gears here to the search feature. So on the site, there's a search form, of course. You might as well have. I think there's lots of evidence that um, search form actually gets used on sites quite a bit. So if we look in like emailing yourself... Uh, it's going to perform that search and it's going to return me search results. That's great. That search actually was executed on WordPress.com servers. It's like hosted search. So the results are a little better and it's faster. It's not, it's a, it's a taxing thing to ask your server to do. So I'm kind of offloading that to them. And it gives me a bunch of filter filtering possibilities that on a more robust site with more detail than this site uh, would work better. In fact, CSS Tricks has this going now. So very jetpack powered site. If I perform a search here, like literally look for Flexbox as it's as it's suggesting we do, that complete guide to Flexbox is the search result. I can sort it by tags. How about uh, uh, articles that have to do with Flexbox as well? And I can totally have control over the design and look of these search results and, and how I want them organized. That's because jetpack is powering that search. Pretty sweet. Oh, so much to go in here. Uh, 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 maybe I'll leave it on this one because uh, we've been going on and on about Jetpack features, but I like this one as well, which is uh, active on CSS Tricks, which is related posts. And the interesting thing about related posts is that it's e even more so than search. It's an extremely database taxing thing to ask your site to do on a self-hosted site. And there's some plugins that do it. And I think there's some that are pretty horrible and some that are a little better, but no matter what, they're very taxing for your site down to the point where some shared hosts are like, you can't use these plugins. They're banned from our hosting because they just, they are known to bring down sites and when one site is being hurt in that way, performance-wise, because shared hosting is what it is, it's hurting other sites as well, literally banning them. So why not, you know, just like how Jetpack offers offloaded search to the WordPress servers, they'll handle processing your related posts as well. So here's a recent post by Sarah Drasner on CSS Tricks. We scroll down to the bottom where I'm... Uh, 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 you know, you, you've read the article and now maybe you're interested in reading other articles that are like it. It's performing that algorithmic magic to come up with these related posts uh, to put here, which I think is great. I even like it so much, I, you know, because we're running a sponsorship for, for Jetpack here. Uh, I mentioned that it's uh, all that ability is powered by Jetpack, which is so darn cool. Okay, let's leave it at that. We already talked about security a bunch anyway. What powerful feature. So Jetpack, it's a plugin for your self-hosted WordPress sites. Uh, 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 I think if we, let's see, if we go into the pricing thing, there's different plans depending on your site, even a free plan that d does some pretty cool stuff already, but all the way up to professional plans that do some some serious backup stuff uh, uh, through, through, through vault press, which I think is tremendously valuable and helps me sleep at night. Anyway, I've been going on and on check out jetpack.com and, uh, uh, maybe you'll agree with me that it's kind of a no brainer plugin for, for your WordPress site.